Marijuana, also known as cannabis, is a psychoactive plant that has been used for medicinal, spiritual, and recreational purposes for centuries. In recent years, its use has become a highly controversial topic, with debates ranging from its medical benefits to its potential harms. This video will examine marijuana's production, effects, quantities produced by different world nations, and usage. Marijuana is used for a variety of purposes, including medicinal, spiritual, and recreational. Medicinally, marijuana is used to treat conditions such as chronic pain, nausea and vomiting, seizures, muscle spasms, and epilepsy. It is also used to improve appetite and weight gain in people with HIV, AIDS and to relieve symptoms of multiple sclerosis. It is also used to stimulate appetite in patients undergoing chemotherapy. It has been used for medicinal purposes for centuries, with evidence of its use dating back to ancient China and India. In recent years, there has been growing interest in the therapeutic benefits of marijuana, and many countries have legalized its use for medicinal purposes. Cannabinoids are thought to have therapeutic effects on the body. The two most well-known are tetrahydrocannabinol (THC) and cannabidiol (CBD). THC is responsible for the psychoactive effects of marijuana, while CBD is thought to have anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects. Medical marijuana is commonly used to treat conditions such as chronic pain, while medical marijuana is legal in many countries, it is still controversial, and there are concerns about its long-term effects on the body. Additionally, there is limited scientific research on the therapeutic benefits of marijuana, and more studies are needed to determine its effectiveness. Marijuana has been used in spiritual practices for centuries, particularly in cultures where it is considered a sacred plant. In many cultures, marijuana is used to enhance spiritual experiences and connect with the divine. For example, in Rastafarianism, a religion that originated in Jamaica, marijuana is considered a sacrament and is used in religious ceremonies. Similarly, in Hinduism, marijuana is associated with the god Shiva, and it is used in some religious rituals. Some people believe that marijuana can help them connect with their spiritual selves and achieve a higher state of consciousness. However, the use of marijuana in spiritual practices is controversial, and there are concerns about the potential risks and negative effects of using the drug in this way. Marijuana contains over 100 cannabinoids, including tetrahydrocannabinol (THC) and cannabidiol (CBD). While it has been touted as having various medical benefits, its effects on health and mental health can also be detrimental. The psychoactive components in marijuana, particularly tetrahydrocannabinol (THC), can have both short-term and long-term effects on the body and mind. The immediate effects of marijuana use can include relaxation, altered perception, increased appetite, and altered time perception. It can also impair coordination and reaction time, which can be dangerous when operating machinery or driving. Increased heart rate, bloodshot eyes, dry mouth, and impaired memory and concentration are other known effects. Additionally, smoking marijuana can lead to respiratory problems such as bronchitis and lung infections. Long-term marijuana use has been linked to chronic bronchitis, lung cancer, and other respiratory problems. Marijuana use can also affect the cardiovascular system, increasing the risk of heart attack, particularly in individuals with pre-existing heart conditions. Additionally, long-term marijuana use has been associated with a higher risk of stroke and cardiovascular disease. Its use can also have a significant impact on mental health, particularly in individuals who use it frequently and at a young age. Marijuana use has been linked to an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia. The risk of developing a psychotic disorder is particularly high in individuals who use marijuana heavily and regularly. Marijuana use can also worsen symptoms of pre-existing mental health conditions. For example, individuals with bipolar disorder may experience an exacerbation of manic symptoms after using it. Additionally, individuals with a history of substance abuse may be more likely to develop a marijuana use disorder.
The effects of marijuana can vary depending on the dose, the method of consumption, and the individual's tolerance. Smoking or vaporizing marijuana can produce effects within minutes, while edibles can take up to two hours to take effect. Production marijuana is grown in many parts of the world, both legally and illegally. The plant requires a warm and humid climate, with well-drained soil and plenty of sunlight. It can be grown indoors or outdoors and is typically harvested between 8 and 12 weeks after planting. The production of marijuana is highly regulated in some countries, while in others, it is completely illegal. In the United States, marijuana is legal for medicinal and recreational use in some states, while in others, it remains illegal. Other countries, such as Canada and Uruguay, have legalized marijuana for recreational use. In some countries, such as China, marijuana is illegal, but the government allows for its use in traditional medicine. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the top three producers of marijuana are currently Afghanistan, Morocco, and Mexico, with a total of 6,400 metric tons produced in 2019. The United States is the largest consumer of marijuana, with an estimated 16.4 million users in 2020. Afghanistan is known for producing high-quality cannabis, particularly in the region of Kandahar. Marijuana production in Afghanistan is primarily carried out in rural areas, with farmers growing the crop to earn a living. While marijuana production is illegal in Afghanistan, it is a major source of income for many people and attempts to eradicate the crop have been met with resistance from farmers and drug traffickers. Morocco is another country with a long history of cannabis production, with the plant being grown in the Rif Mountains in the north of the country. Marijuana production in Morocco is illegal but remains a significant part of the country's economy. The Moroccan government has attempted to eradicate marijuana crops in the past, but many farmers have resisted, citing the lack of alternative sources of income. Mexico is another major marijuana-producing country, with production primarily concentrated in the northwestern state of Sinaloa. Marijuana production in Mexico is illegal, but it remains a major source of income for drug traffickers. Mexican drug cartels have been known to use violence and intimidation to maintain control over the marijuana trade, making it a dangerous industry for farmers and drug traffickers alike. A few examples of other countries with significant marijuana production. Canada legalized the production and sale of marijuana for recreational use in 2018, making it one of the few countries in the world to do so. Since then, the country has become a major producer of marijuana, with large-scale growers producing high-quality strains for the legal market. Canada's legal marijuana industry is tightly regulated, with licensed producers required to adhere to strict quality and safety standards. Jamaica is known for its long history of marijuana cultivation, with the plant being grown for both medicinal and recreational purposes. Marijuana production in Jamaica is illegal but tolerated, and the country has a thriving underground market for the plant. The Jamaican government has recently taken steps to legalize marijuana for medical and scientific purposes, with several companies now licensed to grow and sell the plant. The Netherlands has a relaxed approach to marijuana use and is known for its coffee shops, where patrons can purchase and consume marijuana in a social setting. While marijuana production remains illegal, the country has a thriving underground market for the plant. Some estimates suggest that it is the world's largest exporter of marijuana. Colombia has a long history of production, with the plant being grown in rural areas for both domestic and international markets. Marijuana production in Colombia is illegal, but enforcement is often lax, and many farmers view it as a viable source of income. The Colombian government has recently taken steps to legalize marijuana for medical purposes, with several companies now licensed to grow and sell the plant. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime UNODC, it is estimated that in 2019, approximately 192 million people worldwide used cannabis, making it the most commonly used drug globally. In terms of the illegal drug trade, the UNODC also estimates that in 2019, the global cannabis market was worth around $345 billion.
This figure includes both the production and trafficking of cannabis worldwide. The United States remains the largest consumer of cannabis in the world, with an estimated 43.7 million users in 2020, according to a survey by the National Survey on Drug Use and Health. It is also estimated that the illegal cannabis market in the United States is worth between $40 and $50 billion annually. In Mexico, where drug cartels are a significant issue, it is estimated that the cannabis trade generates around $2 billion annually for criminal organizations. The country is also the largest supplier of cannabis to the United States, with an estimated 70% of the drug consumed in the U.S. coming from Mexico. In Europe, the UNODC estimates that the cannabis market is worth around 9.3 billion euros, with the largest markets being in France, Germany, and Italy. In Africa, the UNODC estimates that the cannabis trade is worth around $10 billion annually, with Morocco being the largest producer of cannabis on the continent. Overall, the illegal cannabis trade is a significant issue worldwide, generating billions of dollars for criminal organizations and contributing to other serious crimes such as violence and money laundering. While the exact figures may vary depending on the source, it is clear that the problem is widespread and requires concerted efforts from governments and law enforcement agencies to combat it effectively.